everyone, it's Natalie here from Hazel Class and today I would like to read you a story called Giraffes Can't Dance and our story today is by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Roots. I've never seen a giraffe dance before, have you? Let's see if they can dance. In this book there are lots of words that sound the same so let's see if you can find any while I read the story. Okay, let's open the book. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Oh, dance and prance. Those are words that Rhyme, well done. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Oh dear. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Ooh. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Feel and reel, they rhyme, well done. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off to the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Oh, poor Gerald. They weren't very kind, were they? That's not being a good friend. So then he found a little clearing. And he looked up in the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. He said, listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. And with that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. 
he threw his arms out sideways. <gasps> then he swung them everywhere. He did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I am dancing! Gerald cried. Oh, he looks very happy, Gerald, now. Oh, and look! Animals have come to watch him. Wow! Then one by one, each animal who had been at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. Wow! They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How is it that you dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a... Then he raised his head up and looked at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. That is our story finished. Thank you for really good listening to our story. Did you find any more rhyming words? I hope so. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.